Well, we still have the lowering of interconnection fees in the spotlight with it having emerged yesterday that Vodacom's asked Telecom's uh, uh, regulator ICASA to delay the second round of interconnection rate cuts, saying if new, uh, a new rate was introduced next month, it would devastate the industry. Shamil Joseph, MD of Vodacom, joins us now on the line to share uh, some of their view. Thanks so much, Shamil, for joining us this afternoon. So we had the business day run with the headline yesterday, Vodacom digs in hills on cutting switch fees. Run us through your position at the moment and the motivation for this call that you've made to ICASA. Thanks, Alicia. Good afternoon. Um, <clears throat> I think what we, I think first and foremost, what we did was we, when we presented to ICASA yesterday, we accepted the um, reduction down to 40 cents, and we said that we didn't think it was unreasonable to to get down to 40 cents. What we did, what we did debate though was, or, or our position was that the period in terms of which they want to implement, implement it mm -hmm. was a bit dramatic. And the reason for that is that we've just had a rate cut on the 1st of March. That has an annual impact of uh, 600 million rand on the bottom line. Mm -hmm. So further rate cut uh, on the 1st of July would, 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 would worsen that position. And what we asked was, can we delay it for eight months and implemented, uh, and that the next rate cut happened on the 1st of March. And then um, the, the ICASA did propose a, um, a glide path, and we accepted the glide path, but then the, the glide path would run from the 1st of March every year thereafter. Well, taking a look at the effects, I mean, you mentioned that knock to Vodacom's bottom line of uh, 600 million rand. Uh, in the, at the same time, we've had MTN noting, and certainly a consensus seems to be, that interconnect revenue streams uh, would have unintended consequences on the consumer who, as yet, hasn't managed to actually feel uh, the effects or you know, the benefit of such moves in the first place. Uh, so let's take a look at how uh, this undermines the regulator's objective of consumer benefit at this stage. Well, I think if we, if we look at the, um, first, if you look at the issue of mobile termination rates, mobile termination rates, basically, um, <clears throat> the way the traffic flows, the, you, you, you're getting, the traffic between, between the networks are more or less balanced. In fact, it comes a net payer to both, both uh, MTN and South Sea. Mm -hmm. So when the rate comes down, what, what interconnection rates are basically doing is it's encouraging competition. It's making it cheaper for, for a network to terminate a call on another network. So if Vodacom were terminating a call on MTN, the cost of that call becomes cheaper. But, but the reverse is also true. Also, the cost of terminating a call from Telcom uh, also comes, comes down. And in the Telcom agreement, there's a pass-through principle. So what's happened with mobile termination rates, it's the fixed to mobile rate that's actually come down yeah. significantly. For mobile operators, they all take a direct loss because the revenue is actually coming from the fixed line. Yep, and not actually feeding through to retail prices. Uh, and many saying that ICASA needs to actually regulate retail prices if we're expected to see any uh, competitive forces emerge resulting in lower tariffs for the consumer uh, themselves. I mean, what are you anticipating in that regard? Well, I think, you know, further mobile termination rates just make it possible for your 500, you know, vans and your 500 uh, licensed operators that are out there to terminate uh, calls cheaper, and that encourages competition. And it's competition which brings down pricing. Mm -hmm. So I, th I also think that when you look at pricing, you're gonna look at it, it's, it's, it's what you look at. You know, you get different types of pricing. You get peak off peak, you get flat rate pricing, you get contract pricing, and you've got high connection bonuses. And, but you also got offers where you don't have to take a phone and you can put the, uh, the connection bonus against that, uh, against uh, your, your subscription and your call charges can be low as 15, 16 cents a minute. Yeah. So that's, well, it's all relative. Well, well the uh, entire issue under uh, contention at the moment is that glide period. I mean, ICASA has hit back somewhat, arguing that the regulator is not compelled uh, to offer a glide period, uh, but it structured this approach in order to offer uh, the industry some time to adjust since the 89 cent rate came into effect. Uh, uh, you know, how has the company adjusted since this voluntary drop that has emerged? in terms of Vodacom's perspective as such? Okay, so, I mean, we're really uh, four months into um, the first cut in March. What we've done since then is obviously we've had to go back and re-look at our whole ecosystem. So we've, we've implemented, for, in, for instance, two rate cuts. Uh, one, uh, one took effect late last year, one's taking uh, uh, place now. And the rate cuts is where we reduce the 
the, the commissions to the distribution channels. So we have done that. We've readjusted our connection incentive bonus, and we've basically readdressed every element of our costs. And you know, we've also put forward a, a savings program um, that, that we've obviously published that we want to save 500 million uh, rand this year in, in, in costs. So we're trying to compensate for that by by relooking at all our costs. But that does have a downward impact into the channels because. Basically, you know, we, the reduction does affect them as well. Well, from the conversations that you've had thus far, I mean, what's your take on an expected outcome that's likely to emerge here? Well, I think uh, from Inikasa, what we hope for is that Inikasa, basically, yes, yeah, because what we're asking for is really an eight-month delay mm -hmm. and saying, look, give us time to, to implement, the, implement the rate cut. The fact is that we, we've agreed to the rate cut. We're not arguing that, you know, we, we don't want to get to 40 cents. All we're asking is that it really just be delayed by eight months. Um, so, you know, that's the big message. And I think the other thing is that we're saying, you know, it does make sense to keep a differential between peak and off-peak. Yeah. Um, and the reason for that is because, you know, it allows you to better spread your traffic through the day. Yeah. Well, of course, we'll be tracking developments there as they unfold.